That's right. Hello, everyone. It is time for sports where our countdown continues. The MT Top 40 looks at the best football players to ever hail from Big Sky Country. Of course, we started with the defensive backs and are now on to the defensive line. Every Monday you meet number five. We count down to number one on Friday, throw in some honorable mentions. We're on to the number four defensive lineman in Montana's history. A guy from Billings that went out to Stanford, had a heck of a career. Number four is Pete Lasatich. Lazatich was an all-state football, basketball, and track and field standout of Billings Sr., where he enjoyed a record-setting career. In fact, he was a state shot put and discus champion, but it was college football that came calling. Lazatich boasted an impressive football pedigree, playing his high school ball for his father Bill, who was Anaconda standout, who became a three-sport star at Montana before a short career with the Cleveland Rams. Pete's late uncle Millen also starred at Anaconda, where he was a three-year All-State tackle who started his college career in Missoula, then after his World War II service, landed with the Michigan Wolverines, where he was named first team by numerous publications. Yeah, it was pretty much, uh, it was everything. You know, it was, my dad was a coach and uh, the basketball team at that time, an assistant football coach, an assistant track coach, and just athletics was, uh, well, it was, a, it was a way of life. I loved watching all the pro teams on TV and football teams. We had the Chicago Bears every weekend piped into Billings and in the basketball and uh, yeah, just athletics. And certainly Norm, my dad was a, you know, a nine letterman at the University of Montana, one of the few in the school's history. He was the captain of, of, you know, I think he was the third leading uh, scorer in the Pacific Coast Conference one year. And of course, my uncle uh, played, uh, he was uh, drafted uh, overall, I think, uh, 10 or 12. So he was drafted in the second round because there were only nine you know, pro teams. Mm -hmm. He was, uh, he went into the war, Uncle Millen, he was the best of the bunch. Uh, but uh, I think at one point he was uh, the largest baby ever in Deer Lodge County. I think it was 13 pounds, nine ounces at birth. Pete Lazatich had big shoes to fill, but wasted little time doing so, joining the Stanford University football program and leading the team to the Rose Bowl for the first time in nearly two decades. The first trip was a victory over Ohio State, and then Stanford beat Michigan the following season. Two, uh, two in a row, both some big upsets. First one over Ohio State, who they felt was probably one of the greatest college teams of all time. I think they had four guys win the first round. They had a great team. And it, well, I don't think they overlooked this. I, I, in talking with some of the ballplayers you know, later on, I was playing pro, they said that uh, Woody Hayes worked them so hard that week that they thought they left most of it on the on the practice field. He was so determined to just, uh, he, he wanted to beat Stanford and he wanted to beat them bad. Pluck had lit him up. Uh, they'd never seen it. I know they were very frustrated the defense was. And by our defense, uh, we did, we played a hell of a game. I, I think we only held them to about 600 yards. <laughs> 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 and that was on the ground. Uh, but they, uh, they just couldn't uh, punch it in. An honorable mention, All-American, Lazatich was named to Stanford's All-Century team and is in the school's Athletic Hall of Fame. He was taken in the second round of the 1972 draft by San Diego, where he remained until 1974. He then headed to Philadelphia, where he stayed until the conclusion of his career in 1977. I've had a great, tremendous life. As Coach Ralston would say, uh, today's the best day of your life, and uh, tomorrow's even going to be better. And uh, that's the way I feel. More on Lazatich's stats and accolades and career, you can find that at montanasports.com. Coming your way tonight at 10, it's senior night at the ballpark. Helena Senators in a twin bill against Lethbridge. We'll have those highlights tonight at 10. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.